I mean, start, start with some mention here already. I mean, uh, one is, of course, the direct costs of maintenance. And, and I'm glad, I mean, maybe to elaborate more on that separate thing, but that will come down to productivity, of course. I mean, we're looking at figures of 10 to 20 percent. That figure dwarfs if you compare it to what kind of uptime this is possible to drive. I mean, the uptime, if you put a similar percentage of 10 to 20 percent, the value of that is just so, so big. We see few cases already, not up to those numbers yet, but with what we were doing today, we predicted let alone what's coming now future-wise with fully software-defined vehicles and, of course, what the autonomous capabilities go beyond, let's say, what we have today and what we do today. So I think just if you look on maintenance, if you add the uptime part, those two are already used. Then you see, of course, more autonomous uh, capabilities will, will enhance and also, let's say, when it comes to fuel consumption. I think there are so many pockets around that just are a needed tool to, let's say, support this growth that I just talked about with, let's say, less vehicles out, just more productive and more efficient. Let me make this interactive. 